action for you guys. And Cantrip um, from British Columbia, I believe. Yes. He is uh, been pushing the meta a lot with this character. Yeah, for those of you fun. unfamiliar with Cantrip, you may know him from the Communism account on Twitter. x between SoCal and NorCal, but really terrorizing both of those regions. This will be an interesting one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so already we're seeing <laughs> something he's worked on there with those banana... I mean, it looks like he couldn't get the infinite there, but uh, he was able to get some confirms. Uh, you know, a lot of players drop this character, similar to, like, Cloud. You know, once they realize the character had been nerfed a little bit and, and not, you know, a top tier anymore. But this character still is very strong. I mean, that fair is amazing. We got some buffs recently. Um, you've, we've seen Cantrip do... He has infinites that he can do on these platforms. Maybe we'll see them. Yeah, uh, Cantrip was one of several players that got flown out for the Congress Saga main event, so we really got to see a glimpse of what this character can do over the weekend. Not in top 32, but we did see Rivers using him as a secondary, and he's just going to be right out of the Booyah range, but he'll get the up air right afterward. Yeah, that's a unfortunate there for Cantrip. Uh, you know, when you go into this matchup, a lot of Inklings, they have their notebook or whatever that'll tell them the percent range. But that's equally uh, at where the ding dong for them works, or the you know d uh, up throw to up air kill confirm works. But it's equally important that you know that as a, the opposing player, too, because you know when they're fishing for it, and you know when you're going to die. Mm -hmm. So you need to know that in this matchup, for sure. And it's not just a simple percent in this game. Rage affects it, so you need to be able to do the math on the fly as well. Cantrip still yet to take a first dog. That's true. And the really good inkling players are able to account for that and know exactly when that window is open. Excellent conversion with the up air to finish it off. Cantrip finally on the board and with a banana in hand, shot off the platform but put himself susceptible to the grab in the meanwhile and even the mash not fast enough to avoid the up smash. Yeah, XX uh, doing a great job there. I mean, he was able to uh -oh. not waste any time there. Oh, here oh, we here see the start of the infinite. infinite. Yeah. Oh, but he drops it there. 40% uh, there, still a uh, pretty reasonable amount of damage. Uh, but you're hoping you can get the whole stock if you're cantrip there especially with the deficit that he's at right now. Yeah, call it what you want, the Pyramid Scheme, the Banana Menace. <laughs> the Pyramid Scheme. I've seen like 10 names for it. It's one, it's in dispute. I love the names for everything in this game. I mean, Ding Dong is great. Yeah, the Rocket Barrel is gonna be easily snuffed out by x -Ax. Okay. Uh, Excellent gets a spike. trip though. Nice conversion there for coming from Cantrip there, getting the weak hit of the Nair and then leading that into the spike. That's yeah, it. I mean, I haven't seen very many DK players, so it's very interesting to see all the, or Diddy Kong players, I should say. Uh, it's very interesting to see all the combos of, that this character has available to him. A good evasion from x to just dash back and forth before going for the grab, but Communism is able to get something going. Combo broken by the aerial from x -Ax. Runs up and just forward airs him. just slices through that final stock. Cantrip did well to get that down air conversion, but nothing doing after that. Just fell into so many grabs and combo starters that had nowhere to go, especially with the lack of a center platform. Yeah, definitely. Just catching that jump off the ledge there. Uh, making that read, knowing that Cantrip was eager to get back to center stage and try to uh, build an advantage that way. Game two, though, as we move on to town and city here. This time there is a central platform for Cantrip to retreat to if he gets caught in the midst of some of these combos. And that center platform can also be used for the infinite. Oh, he drops it again. Oh. That's got to hurt his uh, Cantrip. But you've got to pick yourself up and continue to play this, continue to keep up the fight here. And he's just, he's doing that as he builds this lead here. I like the way he's using these bananas to cover the landings on his platform. Uh, it's a it's safe option for a lot of characters. I mean, you think you can just land on a platform and maybe they'll chase you. Uh, but Donkey Kong doesn't, or Diddy Kong doesn't even have to get off the ground to, to uh, threaten you on the platforms. It's something you have to get used to in this matchup. And I highly doubt that XX has that much experience. He's already gotten hit by the infinite once, uh, twice. It's just that uh, XX has dropped it both Ex times. Excellent trip into the up air conversion, but Town and City's high ceiling saving XX there at 150, so one option removed from the ledge, but still is able to make it back safely in the face of the Nana. Uh, 
with all that rage, of course, he will be out of the throw conversion window, but that trade is actually going to be enough. Monkey flips to make it back, and Cantrip takes the early lead. Excellent spot dodge into a couple of up tilts, and the monkey flip to get him back on. Trips twice on the same banana. The old double trip. All right. Cantrip here with the lead. He's, DK is very light, so XX really only needs a few more hits here. Okay, unable to get him as he gets back to ledge, but does catch the get up there with the forward air, sealing out another stock with that move. Jack there to make it back, and communism with banana in hand, and that oh air dodge, no! no. Killed him at 11%. Cantrip just threw all that lead, everything he had worked for. It's gone now, has to work to make it back. Uh, it seemed like he had that read there. He just mistimed it, and uh, that costing him a lot. And what really stings there is that the monkey flip would have made, made it back. The air dodge, even with a better angle, probably would have made it back. But still, able to get the kill, not falling too far behind and very much in this game. Yeah, that, that was a huge uh, swing there for Cantrip. He is very much in this game, as you said. Um, XX trying to use that banana there to get something going, but, you know, unless you practice with items, the character who has access to the item probably knows how to use it a little better than you do. Yeah, and a lot of what XX has been doing, he's been catching banana several times, but not really just holding onto it, because you're not going to be able to get too much out of it Cantrip really knows all those conversions, but by holding on to the banana, you're making sure that Diddy can't pull another. Well, something that makes this banana so strong with uh, Diddy Kong is he still has access to that side beat, you know? Oh, yep. Recognized that Cantrip didn't mash too quickly in game one and just made that calculation to put a little bit of charge on the up smash, and that might have made the difference with Town's high ceilings. 